this is Spock. Today we're gonna install Windows 10. Uh, it's the evaluation build 9926 and I can see that it's even in Dutch so this time uh, yeah there are uh, evaluation versions probably in more languages because normally we did not have Dutch but now Dutch is there so thumbs up for that uh, Microsoft thumbs up so we're gonna install it on uh, Acer 5310 this is a uh, yeah very nice laptop I think uh, especially if you clean out the fan and it runs cool you know it has two gigabytes of RAM so you know this is not some crazy machine but it's a pretty old machine already but still very good so we're not gonna talk about the age of the laptop because it's not about the age it's about what it can do and uh, well this thing can do a lot and we're just booting uh, Windows 10 and we're gonna let the boot go and if this is done I'll get back to you okay there we go it goes really fast we just hit next and up here we will hit um, custom and 274 gigabytes 127 we're gonna hit uh, we're gonna this one delete select the ones that you can delete and at a certain moment you will there will only be one you see so that one here we just hit next we don't need to create no partition we're gonna select Windows 10 on one partition and this will go just fine. Okay, this is the second reboot uh, from uh, the Acer. Or the second reboot. In fact, this is the first reboot after the install. It went really fast. And it's booting now up. I also removed the stick as you can see. And this is still a very cool machine and people uh, don't underestimate this machine, the 5310. It can be a very perfect Macintosh running Leopard Snow 10.6.8. You know, you can date it up if you uh, install a good version with uh, my hack. Um, yeah, this is just a fantastic machine. I have no words for it. I have two of them. This one has no battery. I got it in a real bad state. Look, I painted it. It looks all nice. It has some dust, of course. But... It looks really, really nice. Of course, the screen is really hard to open, so let me open it. You should not worry about the black screen uh, that will uh, stay there for a long time, maybe one or two minutes, but it's detecting the hardware now. So, in fact, you can also see this as a kind of uh, manual how to install Windows 10, uh, this version of Windows 10. It's the kind of latest, so uh, you should really check it out. It's free, you can download it, it's an evaluation version. And now it's gonna install the uh, devices that it found. And it's installing devices now. And really thumbs up uh, Microsoft for this time putting out a Dutch version. You never did it before on the Windows 8, there was no Dutch uh, evaluation version. Now there is, and I think that is really, really cool of you guys, so big, thumbs up for Microsoft just for thinking of the Dutch people this time and not only of the others that you know um, were always uh, represented in the language list okay one more reboot and uh, we're back here you can see that we can log into our Wi-Fi but I will skip that step for now Because I just want a light uh, installation. I'm going to do some express settings here. Uh, first, I'm going to call this thing Acer 10. And we will not use any password. And here it's gonna set up the machine I think reboot it one more time oh there you go hello and after a little bit of waiting here it is Windows 10 and you can see that everything is found the hardware so look at the nice background also very nice um, 
The resolution, however, is probably um, not so good yet because of the screen. Here you can see we cannot, we can also not change it. It's 1020 by 768. So I'm not sure if the apps will work. Let me see something. If these apps will worky worky. Yes, they work. They work fine, but they need internet. And here and you could see with and without internet these apps are being installed these are now baked in into the system eh? you see that and here we can go to all apps and I find it really nice it looks really beautiful they worked on it let's change it a little bit around and put the taskbar on top so I have this I like and the volume is working nice let's put some icons on the desktop so we can work even faster my computer network and oh the icons also look very 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 nice look at that very lovely icons very nice microsoft And looks, let's look at uh, the system settings. And I must say thumbs up. Uh, everything is found except the video controller. We will need internet for that to update it. And the PCI flash memory. Uh, we can also stick in, I think, memory cards in this thing here somewhere. And that is not found. But for the rest, everything is found. And uh, this is a very uh, compatible windows 10 machine so remember it uh, with the two gigabytes of ram it uh, runs uh, very nice very fantastic skype is also installed so you can start skyping your friends and telling them about this version of windows 10 the 10 pro technical preview evaluation a build 9926 and for those wondering about the backgrounds so let's take a look what we have here backgrounds and <laughs> let me see something we don't have too much backgrounds feels a little bit buggy the backgrounds see that we cannot really well, sure. Okay, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, it works nice. Um, yeah, the white snow is also almost covering the, um, the desktop uh, stamp, how you call it, watermark. So that is also maybe for some people nice to see, but it's not about that, of course, it's about how the system works. So we will go ahead and test it. I will install some video editing tools on this and of course some audio editing tools. And then we're gonna see how this thing works. Also battery life, internet, and the new browser should also be in here. I did not see it yet. This should we should have a new browser somewhere here. But probably we will get that with the update. We'll have to see about that. Well peeps, uh not gonna make this video any longer. I hope you liked uh this little short review of uh Windows 10 install on a pretty old laptop that is still doing a great job the Acer 5310 so uh, keep it in mind uh, you don't need so much uh, power to run Windows 10 well I mean like all the machines these days have enough power to run Windows 10 so you know you should really try it out on your new machine Check it out, let me know if it worked for you and uh, if you think this information was cool, of course like the video and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.